hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adrian at dc so tonight i have part two of my middle eastern fragrance haul now i told you guys i was going to be bringing you guys the part two because i have been going crazy over this brand like complete like you know i am really in love with this whole middle eastern vibe so tonight i have six more fragrances to show you guys now i hope you guys have seen part one of this video if not i'm just gonna pop the video you know the card right to the top so you guys can feel free to check that video out but tonight i have six other latafa fragrances to tell you guys about and i am absolutely excited like i just cannot get enough of these fragrances i have been thoroughly enjoying them but enough about me rambling on about how much i love these fragrances let me just show you guys what i've captured thus far but before we do if you guys are new here please hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you'll be notified every single time i upload and if you love middle eastern fragrances you love oud you know you love smoky incense woody fragrances and you love what i've captured please do give me a thumbs up you guys so let's just get right into it now this one i went a little bit daring i would say and i want to tell you guys about I know in all my excitement, <laughs> there is one particular fragrance here that I'm not really vibing with you guys, you know. But let me just tell you guys about it. So the first fragrance I'm going to tell you guys about is Mahir by La Taffa. And this is actually the black edition. Now let's take a moment to look at this package, okay. Let's just, let's, let's just take a look at it. You're probably looking at it, you're probably thinking, oh, what are we seeing? Well, first of all, this is the outer packaging, okay. This is the outer packaging. This is how the fragrance got delivered with a seal over it, of course, with a beautiful gift bag with it. I mean, like, let's just talk about presentation and experience. You know, you'd swear to God that you're buying a high-end brand. One thing is for certain, this brand takes pride in their product. They take pride in the presentation in every single aspect and I am truly grateful for that, especially my bank account because we like fancy bottles at decent prices, you guys. So this baby was not only affordable, it's an extremely impressive presentation, okay? Now this is the sleeve. So I'm gonna take off the top part so you guys can see the bottle because you haven't even seen the beautiful part. I'm so sorry. I would have loved to give you guys a full experience and tie back this bow, but yeah. Okay, this is how this bottle looks is fitted snug into this little um, box right here. The box isn't that sturdy, but you know, they get an A for effort just because, you know, it's so elaborate, period, okay? Now this is what this bottle looks like. Again, let's take another minute to look at this bottle. Like, look at this shit. Look at it. Like, um, come on. I can't, once again, I saw this particular fragrance on Jai Amin's channel. He said, even if they send you the empty bottle alone, you'll be quite pleased. <laughs> and he also said, you know, you want to like this fragrance because you don't want to miss out on actually, you know, having an excuse to buy this fragrance. And, you know, your girl was like, yeah, we're getting that bottle of perfume, okay? So in addition to the fancy packaging, they also sent you like a little mini pamphlet in one of the boxes that gives you all of the note breakdown of all the fragrances. Now, is this fancy or what? I mean, like, first of all, as you guys would know, it is hard to find the notes for a lot of these Middle Eastern fragrances on Fragrantica. Fragrantica does have the notes for this paper right here, and they have quite a lot of reviews, which I was happy to read. But even if you didn't find those notes, it's right here. Like they are right here, you guys. So let me just tell you the notes in Mehel. Now, this particular fragrance, it opens up with violet, rosemary, and bergamot. In the bin, in the middle, it has Kayara incense, albanum, myrrh, orris root, amber, vanilla, labdanum. And in the base, we have smoke, leather, agarwood, patchouli, sandalwood, and cedar. Now, this was a very daring blind boy. But I think, you know, I kind of got some of an accurate, you know, expectation of this perfume. Now, let me just tell you what this perfume smells like, okay? This perfume, it opens up. Um, obviously, it's, it hasn't that smoky note in it. So, what's dominating this perfume is literally smoke, okay? It has a smoke essence to it. I want to say there's a hint of something 
green, a little bit herbally, a little bit earthy to it, okay? There's a hint of sweet, there's a tiny hint of sweetness. The fragrance comes off a little bit fresh, but this is a dark, smoky, leathery, herbally, greenish smelling perfume okay the leather vibes okay it's right it's behind the smokiness in this perfume okay and that's overall what you get from this perfume now this is by far not a safe blind buy as a matter of fact i was advised not to even blind buy this perfume and i'm going to pass on you know that good advice don't blind buy, blind buy this perfume okay if I can accurately capture what this perfume smells like, if you picture picture a big heavy fella on a Harley Davidson bike, okay, with shaved sides and spikes running up the center of his head, with a leather gillette, like a genuine rugged leather gillette with some spikes, okay, smoking a cigar. And imagine the smell of the exhaust coming from the Harley Davidson with the essence of that genuine rugged leather, the smoke from the Cuban cigar. Am I missing anything else? I think if you picture that, picture what it smells like with a tiny hint, a hint, very, very hint of sweetness, very, very fresh hint of sweetness, very, very, very subtle hint of sweetness. That's what you got in this perfume right here. This is what this fragrance smells like. Now, I'm glad that I've warmed up to it so much because when I first smelled it, I didn't know what to make of it. I still don't know what to make of it. This is not a feminine fragrance by any means. I don't think it was intended to be a feminine fragrance, but the bottle, you know, I'm a sucker for fancy bottles, you guys. And the price, I had to have it. I don't know if I would wear this perfume, if I could be honest. If I do, I would only wear it with a leather jacket. Literally, this would only come out in a leather with a leather jacket. Now, I haven't worn this perfume all day. This is a long-lasting perfume. It doesn't it doesn't fade. It it dries down, and for me, the dry down is not that sexy. I would have to say. I want to say there is a dare I say this perfume dries down to a somewhat saliva essence on the skin dear i say that okay it just has this vibe to it and i don't i don't find that to be sexy but i would only wear this if i'm wearing a leather jacket like in a dead dead winter cold night so i don't project too much and i would spray it very very low you need to blind but you need to test this perfume out first and um yeah this is a very daring purchase very 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 different very very unique extremely out of the ordinary you guys so yeah this is my hair um by latafa the black edition next we have the original my head which of course comes in the same packaging okay but this one is a much more feminine a much more likable version and there you have the bow which is choking the horse that's not where it came okay it was down but don't worry about the bow i'm so sorry i would love to give you guys <laughs> I would love to give you guys the experience, but you know, yeah, that is really horrible. But you get the picture. Let me just take it off. <laughs> okay, so this baby right here, as you can see, it looks a lot more appealing, a lot more feminine, a little bit more interesting, still keeping it nice and somewhat exotic with the fancy bottle and the gold cap. And like the other one, this is a solid gold cap. Like, this is... This is like, like steel, like literally, this is like heavy stuff. Like this is solid. So this is a win, even if you don't like the juice. Okay. But I do like the juice. I don't dislike the first one, but it's definitely not like a vibe for me. But this is, this is B. Okay. Now let me just give you guys, you know, the Mehed Gold Edition. This one has in top notes of saffron and rose. In the heart we have... Aki Gallowood, leather, dry amber in a base, oud wood accord, vanilla, and musk. Now, um, the channel that I saw this fragrance on actually described this perfume as complex. Complex it is indeed, but it is it is as if they combined three different components 
three different fragrances into one and they they have you know kind of like retained their individuality in this perfume so it comes across complex because it's three different note profiles or structures in this particular perfume now let me just tell you how it smells okay for me this perfume opens up citrusy sweet and bright quite citrusy sweet okay you definitely get the rose you definitely get the saffron opening up in this perfume beautiful very pleasant very different comes off a little bit exotic okay and then you get oud okay i want to say it's giving me um similar vibes to one of the mancera fragrances that i have i think it's gold oud that citrusy um kind of somewhat rhymy essence but it's the citrus vibes the saffron the rose combining with the oud that's what i'm getting this is what i'm getting so far okay and then the fragrance you're picking up the oud okay sweetness from the vanilla you definitely get the woody touches in this perfume but as this perfume dries down it's taking a lot longer to dry down right now when this perfume dries down you get a lot of the you get like a smoky woody essence now it hasn't the wood wood accord but it literally gets deep and smoky and ambery in the dry down okay so for me it opens up citrusy and bright in the heart is very eerie which is a second component and in the base it goes full-blown like woody smoky like it kind of fall vibes for me this is an earlier run fragrance but it transitioned into something kind of it's different it's like you know it's interesting at the same time but the only thing that's not making this perfume all that like i notice a lot of people whenever they review this perfume they give it a seven out of ten and I give it a 7 out of 10 because of the components that they've combined. They've combined um, other fragrances from the brand together. And that's the only thing. So it's like the deeper you go into La Taffa, eh, the more um, you're coming across similar scent profiles. And I actually heard somebody say that today. Um, um, La Taffa gives you somewhat of the same vibe afterwards. The more you buy, the more you get used to the scents. And that's what it is with this perfume. But beautiful nonetheless beautiful fragrance it is most definitely interesting it is a beautiful fragrance i have not smelled any other perfume smell like this and this is what i love the fragrances they're exotic they're different they're spectacular they're out of the ordinary they're hitting the nose i don't care if people think it's alcoholic and yada yada yeah it's different and when you smell it you feel um not necessarily overwhelmed but it's impactful and we like impactful scents, especially when they come in an extremely fancy bottle. I mean, like, I like you, Latafa. I like you a lot. Okay. The next fragrance that I'm going to tell you guys about is Oud Mood by Latafa. And again, let's just check the presentation. I mean, like, I don't even take the bottle out. I'm going to leave it like this because why not? Okay. It opens up like this. Once again, on the inside of it, it also has a pamphlet, again, with the notes from the fragrance. And this is how this bottle looks. Boom, bam, bye. Okay. Oh, and as you can see, I'm holding it by the cover. Okay. And let's just get into it. I mean, this is not a very, like, you know, rare fragrance. It's popular. You know, some people talk about it. Some people don't. But this is some bomb shit. This is bomb. Like... The bottle is hefty. Like, you can't believe, like, you can't believe that this is what they're offering for the price that they're offering. This perfume costs less than 20 pounds. Like, look at it. Like, I'm here for this, okay? Now, this one in particular, ooh, where's my booklet? This one has in top notes of rose, saffron, and pimento again. In the heart, you have your agarwood, the caramel, your floral notes, your patchouli. In the base, your resins, your amber, your woody notes, your incense, and your musk. I love this perfume. I will say... It gives me similar vibes to the Chic Al Shayok fragrance here. Just slightly different. So this opens up sweet. You get this sweet rose. Like a sweet. You definitely get that sweet rosy essence in here. With the hints of the saffron. Sweet rose with hints of saffron. Love it. Beautiful opening. Okay. And then it goes into that signature um, scent profile from La Taffa, Or it goes into that Chic Al Shayok vibe. I don't know how to describe it. It's that kind of resinous, I would say. You pick up the oud, the floral notes, the patchouli, the hint of the caramel. The amber is quite strong. The woody notes, and you get the incense, okay? You get the incense, the musk is there. Now, these are the notes in this perfume. It's 
it's there it's prominent it's quite strong it's in your face beautiful fragrance it just smells so close to chic al shayok but chic al shayok is a little bit more um sweeter for me and this one is a bit more heavier woodsier and a bit more incensey either way you put it these are beautiful fragrances this is not my favorite but it's not my least favorite but because what i find and this is something that always happens to me i don't like perfumes that smell too much alike you know that kind of way i don't like when i go into a brand any other brand and there's something that smells like something else i don't like that too much i really don't and i noticed that so i love this perfume but i already have something that's quite similar to it from the same brand i but it's a beautiful perfume nonetheless it does offer you something different. Definitely goes in a different direction than the other fragrance, but a beautiful offering from Latafa nonetheless. Really, and it's strong. You know, like, you can't go wrong. Like, I'm not playing no, you know, no soft fragrances no more. We're playing with some heavy, some big boys, okay? Now, this next one is my favorite. Like, I can't get enough of this one. And this one is the Amir Al Oud by Latafa. I love this. I love, love, love this one. Now, let me just tell you guys the notes in the Amir Al Oud. This one has in top notes are saffron and nutmeg. In the heart, we have geranium, woody notes, labdanum. In the base, oud, vanilla, and leather, you guys. And for me, this opens up whew, like a sugary. So, it's a brown sugar. It comes out like a brown, sugary, sweet, smoky, woody incense vanilla -y, sweet smelling perfume it is dark it is deep you know it is like you know you definitely get that central darkness from the amber and the sugary sweetness in here it comes off like molasses but a little bit eerie because of the oud in here oh, this is sexy this is a really sex and it's strong it's strong but not overbearing you guys it is a extremely wearable such a beautiful scent you guys this one is my absolute fave from the brand absolutely like, this one is just this one is extremely impressive you guys if you're gonna try any from the latafa brand you gotta try this like it might be a little bit it, it comes out really smoky sugary and sweet okay for some people it might be a little bit too much but because of how it wears it doesn't knock you away it, it's not over and overpowering it's not too clawing it's just perfect that smokiness balanced with that sugary sweetness in here perfect nothing i have nothing like this in my collection i've smelled nothing like this from latafa just this one alone this is classiness and apparently this is meant to be uh, a dupe for by the fireplace i haven't smelled by the fireplace but this is pure sexiness deep dark central sexiness i love this perfume so this is the Amir Al Oud, the Intense Oud from La Tafa. That's that one. And of course, I love the bottle, the cover. I can chop somebody with this. Bomb. Okay. Now, the other two fragrances, um, they're kind of like um, influenced by other brands. But I was just happy to have it nonetheless. Now, let me just show you guys something. Okay. Now, I picked up the... Oud for Glory by Latafa. I wasn't aiming in this. I wasn't aiming for this fragrance. I have no insight whatsoever with regards to this perfume. I wasn't even the slightest way intrigued. I don't know why. Okay. But, you know, I saw the bottle. And when I saw that it was from Latafa. And it was so affordable. I was like, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's get into it, right? And when this box came. And I felt it in my hand the experience let me tell you something i i had a feeling of grandeur when i opened this box like i'm telling you like i don't know what it is but i do know what it is but the packaging i mean obviously it's inspired by the original bottle but for what you get like i was watching somebody earlier i think her name was glam finds she said, if Latafa keep bringing out these, you know, these clones of Inicio, I'll probably never smell any Inicio fragrance. <laughs> I find that was so funny, but I'm going to say to you guys, Latafa is really, they're messing with the market, man. It's not a bad thing, well, not for us, but they're messing with the market, like, they're really messing with the market but we are benefiting so i'm happy 
like when I opened this box and I took this fragrance out, like, look at it. You can't even get it out. The feeling that I had holding this bottle in my hand, like, for 30 something quid, listen, like, like people, like, what are we doing? Because Latafa, this perfume, I don't know, the bottle, the presentation, the feeling that I get from holding this bottle in my hand, it was extremely impressive. It was superb. Like, Latafa has, you know, I don't know, this is like really, really impressive, you guys. Now, the, this one, uh, the notes, please, where is my pamphlet? Oh, it's right here. No, this one in particular, this the op the top notes are saffron, lavender, and nutmeg. In the heart, we have oud, patchouli, and the base musk, oud, and patchouli. And all I can tell you is, when I smell this fragrance, for me it opens up a little bit, somewhat um, masculine-ish. Okay, it opens up with the saffron. It's quite prominent. I want to say I get somewhat of a leathery vibe in the opening. Now, this perfume does not list any leathery essences, but there is a lavender and nutmeg. For me, I get like saffron in like a leathery vibe to this perfume. And then, yeah, definitely a leathery vibe. Definitely leather, the patchouli. You get the saffron, the leathery vibe, and the patchouli. That's what I'm getting from this perfume. Now, interestingly enough, again, I had no, you know, idea what to expect from this perfume because I never really looked into this fragrance. And when it came, the first time I tried it, I doused myself in it. And I was like, this smells like Baccarat Rouge Fai Fai. And then I noticed that everybody was saying that the perfume is like a masculine version of Baccarat Rouge Fai Fai. Maybe the Baccarat Rouge Extreme. I totally get that. This perfume wears very light, very soft, okay? You get that burnt candied essence, but it's not that sweet. So a slight burnt candied essence with some leathery vibes and that's what i get from this perfume it's a beautiful fragrance it's nothing mind-blowing which brings me to my point could you imagine spending 270 pounds for a perfume that smell like background rouge by Fati, another high-end brand like this is my problem when it comes to high-end or niche fragrances when you say niche and you put a high price tag on it, you shouldn't smell it, and it smells like nothing else. I know my expectations are unreasonable, but your prices are also unreasonable. So if you're going to sell me a niche perfume with an extravagant price tag, it need to give me niche vibes when I smell it. Now, in Selfridges, the counter that sells um, Oud for Greatness is right next to the counter that sells Baccarat Rouge. Baccarat Rouge costs two fifteen. This one costs two seventy. The original. You're gonna pay two fifty, two fifteen there, and two seventy for this. Listen, Latafa, thank you very much for this baby right here. The bottle, the presentation, the feel is worth it. I mean, this is not the original packaging, but if this gives me this vibe, I'm assuming that I need to would give me the same vibe. Um, and I'm hoping a lot better. Because it costs so much more money. But the scent in here, this don't blow me away. It's nice, it's sexy because I don't have I don't have backward rouge and I don't have oud for greatness. This is a sexy smelling fragrance. More or less like an everyday candy, sweet, leathery vibe for me. And it goes feminine as it dries down. But the scent itself, it don't give me 270. You know that kind of way? You're paying for the bottle. But I'm happy to experience this at a much more full price in a bigger bottle in a much more extravagant design, you guys. I'm loving this overall package because of this price tag. So this is the Bad Al Oud, Oud for Glory by Latafa. Now, okay, last but by no means least, I have Velvet Oud by Latafa. Now, like I said to you guys, apparently this one is influenced by another perfume. I have heard people say the fragrance that it's influenced by. I don't know the fragrance and I think it's something from YSL. I don't know. But I was just intrigued. I mean, 
first of all let's look at the outer packaging like this is a it well velvet velvet feel to the um you know the outer packaging and it still comes in a box over it circular base which is solid the fragrance is snug fit into it the bottle is minimalistic crisp clean classy and extremely hefty the plaque is properly secured like money went into securing this like this is some high price type of vibe that i'm you know that i'm about to smell vibe okay now this one in particular let me give you notes in this one velvet oud opens up with cardamom bergamot in the heart we have violet leaf and patchouli in the base we have suede oud amber musk and oak moss for me okay this is a more of a masculine scent but it's a beautiful fragrance it when i say masculine it just has somewhat of a once again i get leathery vibes i get leather in here obviously there's a suede in here but i get more leather okay look at it and it's so snug into this like like come on people okay now look at it i love it like so sexy minimalistic Dude, everything to me now let me tell you what i get from this perfume and of course the cap is fancy see-through this yeah i love the latafa logo it's it, i don't know it just looks like money it looks like you know like they've taken effort time in a good thought into the logo for the brand i like that okay now let me just smell this one for you okay right for me i get a slight green essence in this perfume slight green essence you definitely get the bergamot and the cardamom and i think that's combining together is what's giving you that slight green but it's not like a problem green it's like a strong green cardamom touch to this perfume i'm thinking maybe the it's combining with the violet leaf i'm not getting a lot of amber i am getting suede musk the oak moss and very slight presence of the oud and it's strong because it's giving unless i've been smelling too much it's giving me a slight little um a little nudge to the center of my forehead right now so it's a strong fragrance the way this dry down it is very pretty it smells um it doesn't like you know it i would say it's more what a male fragrance would smell like but it's a nice perfume that i feel like it go both ways it is a unisex fragrance the dry down is a lot more capturing very nice fragrance very crisp it smells refined it smells very fresh because again it's not like an intense woody smelling perfume this is a mainstream you know type of fragrance in my opinion this could sit have healthily on a designer you know in selfages even i would say it's niche quality to me definitely this i get it's that clean is that refined the notes in here they're not screechy there's nothing jumping out at you it's not alcoholic this gives me a niche quality vibe to it very beautiful scent you guys that i would more wear because of the dry down i really like the dry down to this perfume so there you have it you guys this is my second haul from latafa which i am loving you guys absolutely loving i can't wait to you know dive into these fragrances i'm already wearing them because they smell that good i just can't help myself but yeah this is it for my second part of latafa perfume haul i'm an eastern perfume haul i do hope you guys enjoyed this video with me let me know if you guys have tried any of these latafa fragrances you know if you're vibing with them if you feel them if you're gonna be getting any because yeah it's fall and it's this time of year when we go when we smell a lot of oud incense wood and i'm here for you guys so thank you guys for you know sticking around if you did stick around to the end if in fact you did if you're new please don't forget to hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that notification bell so you will be notified every single time i upload for those of you who are my returning subscribers thank you thank you thank you guys for supporting me and until further notice see you guys in my next video bye